By the end of this video, by by end of this video. <laughs> Today we're gonna go over eight amazing digital tools to run and operate your real estate business. Matter of fact, you can use any of these tools and systems for any business, and if you use it to its fullest potential, you will have a hundred percent competitive edge against your competition, guaranteed. So I started my company, Five Star Family Homes, where we're a residential redevelopment company buying distressed properties and we turnkey them, fix them up and we sell them. And I had this for a few years. And as well, we do like remodeling services for other homeowners, investors. And we also have design and architect and structural to the whole nine yards and as well as interior finish. This is now, but when I first started all this, you know, I had this company called Freehold Investing Properties, which still I still have. I use that more really for like investment opportunities and whatnot and cash flow. Before then, I had Always Me Clothing, which is a women's clothing manufacturing company that we did private label full package services for like the last 12 years. Okay, I've been employed since I was 22. Okay, but I'm not gonna tell you how old I am just yet. That might be on like the next video. But uh, more importantly, I had all this experience and when I first starting I was starting out, I really didn't have my books in order. I didn't know what QuickBooks was. And I had on uh, like, a, I knew how to use that Excel sheet a little bit, but not really too intense. And, and my CPA, my bookkeeper and my uh, banker would tell me, hey, get your books in order. And I had to learn that the hard way by paying taxes and things weren't really where it needs to be. And you know, it's really just important to have a full control over your business is what I realized over the time. Do me a favor, guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the notification button guys it really helps us with the whole youtube algorithm we're gonna be coming out with one new video every week and if you have any topics that you really want me to talk about that's relevant to real estate or mindset or how did i do my business or if you have any questions about your business or life you know just talk about think about it when you make the pen pal thing like you know write to andy type of thing if you want to see any uh topics in particular go ahead and comment below i'm gonna go over eight amazing digital tools that's gonna help you to expedite your growth so that you can navigate and run your business how you need to do as a real ceo Let's get it. Okay, number one, the first tool that I love to use is QuickBooks. QuickBooks is an accounting software that it is uh, online based. You can also download the app QuickBooks Online is a desktop uh, app. I personally like that one better than the web browser because there's a little bit more functionality and it seems a little bit faster than the web browser. Like sometimes Google Chrome gets a little bit slow because there's all these cookies and stuff. Do you want to use QuickBooks? Because this is a program that's going to keep all your accounting in place. This is where you're going to be able to make your invoices, to bill your clients or your vendors, etc. Whatnot. This is a place where you're going to be able to make purchase orders. Purchase order is an agreement from your company to another company for you to buy services or products, right? And then that from there, you're going to be able to create an accounts receivable. You're going to pay people for services or material. And it's just a really good software. It's very inexpensive. It's like the equivalent to a price of one really good meal here in Los Angeles, probably $20 to $150, depending on the program you get and how many users you have. They also have a free trial that you can first subscribe to. I think it's like 30 days free. So go ahead, use that. Um, it's gonna make you organize your books better, where you're gonna have your accounting in order, your expenses in order. So at the end of the day, you can see how much profit and loss you have. Number two item that we love to use is a task manager software. So a task manager software is a software that's usually online. You go on a web browser with one of the programs that we personally use is called Asana. It's a task management software where you could put your to-do list there and it's all organized and it's very streamlined. It's very easy to use. A lot of people that I hired and the people I recommended, they're like, it's really easy to pick up and they have a really great tutorial. You will be able to create a task like for example, oh, go check on the con construction on one to three Main Street. And on that task, I could put attachments there and I can assign this task to somebody else as well. And they can come in and we could just keep this one organized place regarding that one task. <laughs> There's another program that I haven't used, but I heard really good reviews called monday.com. It's pretty much the same thing, but just a little different platform. They both have like free softwares where you can, you know, test and use in the beginnings to see which one you like better and start making your tasks today. 
Number three tool that we use for our business is Microsoft Word and Excel. This is really old school, guys. We're taking it back to the 90s when computers really first came out, but I can't really tell you how much we use Word docs to create you know, meeting itineraries, and then we love using Excel for data-driven exercises or tasks, right? Where I'm gonna have bullet points, etc. Okay, who paid what money? Guys, it's pretty much a, pretty much a requirement these days. You could just buy it right out for $149, then you'll get Microsoft Word and Excel Excel. Another option is for you to pay seven to ten dollars a month basis, and you get all the office softwares from Excel, etc., whatever, all the softwares they have. You're gonna be able to get it, and you're gonna also get one terabyte of storage that you can access from anywhere on this planet as long as you have a computer and internet access. Number four item that we love to use is called a CRM. No, that's not a gang, it's not a car par, it's called Customer Relationship Management Software. I just threw the software, you know, if you're like, where's the S? Okay, I just threw it in there so it makes it sound better. And usually it's like an online-based uh, platform where you go out to your Chrome or your Safari and you have your CRM module. And what that is, this is a system where that keeps all your contact and database in one point and you can put notes. It's kind of like your phone where you have all your contacts, but then the downside about your phone is like, I can't share my phone contact with my other colleagues or my team players other than me keep sending it and they look at all my private messages. So the CRM, a good way for me to explain it to you is like it's a, it's a centralized place where all your team members that are relevant could access and for you to have your buyers list, your vendors, you can categorize it to different categories, to vendors, buyers, etc. Whatever whatever business you're really in, but in real estate it might be like agents, you might have brokers, you might have contractor designers, uh, you might have framers or specific trades or a tile store, or plumbing store, or whatever you can name it so you can have it all organized and nifty. You can also make notes there like someone's birthday, who's in charge there, who's the manager, phone number, fax number, email, etc. I think there's a place for Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and all this and you can maybe put a note there like this person's really friendly or this guy's not that friendly. <laughs> whatever you want because how do you utilize this in your business you might ask me. You're like, oh, why is this? important to you but I'll tell you why this is important to you because if I'm talking to Joe uh, and I met him for the first time at a networking event and I have some specific intel about his personality and his business which I spent really a lot of time to get to know him and I'm gonna put him into my CRM system and my whole team could look at what I put there and the notes so the next time my 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 acquisition manager or my production manager or whoever it is needs to talk to Joe for whatever reason they need to talk to imagine what kind of report that's gonna build. Like, hi Bob, how are you? This is Andy from Five Star Family Homes. Uh, my colleague Paul met you here at a real estate event and I heard you were really interested in selling your home. Yes, I am, how did you? Yeah, yeah, we have this thing called the CRM. I mean, you might wanna say that to them, but hey, by the way, you might wanna build some report, by the way, and say, I, I, I noticed that you really like to go skiing. Yeah, I do, oh yeah, and imagine you're just gonna, you're just gonna beat your competition by a thousand right there. Okay, CRM, some of them are free. HubSpot's free for like a thousand contacts. You can send text message marketing campaigns. It also records your phone call, which is so important in today's age. You gotta have quality. This phone call will be recorded for quality insurance. So you can do that as well. And another thing is uh, some of them are free basic packages or they can start as low as $50 a month and they can go up to a thousand. It really depends how many users you have and what kind of functionality you want it to do. It's like this Pandora's box. Like it has so many like little golden nuggets in there. I just don't know which one I should start with. But go ahead, get a CRM module. It's gonna really help your business and elevate your game to a whole nother level. Number five tool that we use is Hootsuite. Hootsuite is a website where you can go and post all your Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook posts in advance so that you're not having to do it last minute while you're cooking spaghetti at home. <laughs> So this is really beneficial because if you're working with a team or a marketing director, for us for example, we have multiple people where this is their project and I'm gonna be looking at these posts and photos on a weekly basis so I can systematize my business and focus on really what's important in my life right now is just running my business and having fun and doing everything I really love to do. So um, we're gonna. this is a great free software if you wanna plan out the first week and after that, if you wanna go even further than one week, then that's where you have to pay a little bit but this is a great platform for you to automatically post at a specific time on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. You could choose to post these posts on whatever platform you want or you could have it to post 
on all of these uh, social media channels if you want. So that's a great way to leverage your time and not spending tedious time posting on Facebook and the same thing on Instagram and back on LinkedIn, for example. You could just do it at once and just it was just gonna go to all three of these all at once. Another great thing about it is it gives you some basic analytics so you can like track what kind of likes you have, which one was most popular. So this comes with the free basic part. Uh, this comes with the whole software. So go check it out. Hootsuite, that's a really good one that you guys want to use for your marketing ha, systems. Number six software that we use that helps us leverage our time in our business is the DocuSign. DocuSign is a program where you can upload your documents and if you need a contract signed, instead of having to drive an hour or two in the crazy traffic of Los Angeles where it only gets worse every day, oh my God, right, it's like Armageddon. But uh, DocuSign is great because in the moment of this kind of distress situation, you can just upload your document onto DocuSign, put the corresponding people you want to sign. If it's Jane Smith, then we'll put Jane Smith and her email and signature here. And I send that off and it sends Jane Smith an email that she has this document that she needs to sign she clicks a couple buttons and you're good to go it's about 10 to 40 dollars a month um, but that's really inexpensive if you think about the time and the gas and the traffic that you're gonna spend and listening to you know Miley Cyrus on the radio while you're there is probably worth the money guys go ahead and spend 10 40 dollars on that Number seven on my list is Dropbox. You might have heard it before in college and whatnot, and Dropbox is a software, it's a online data storage system. So instead of me taking my whole office with me to the job site, I just take my laptop or my computer, or my phone, and I'm able to look at the same documents, the same design concept, the same spreadsheets, the same budgeting report I might be needing to have to have the on-site meeting. So imagine how efficient that is. It's gonna save you a lot of time and energy and inefficiency, like, hey, uh, send me the file. Okay, did you get it? And no, it doesn't open. It's, this is not the right one. Download Dropbox right now on your phone and your computer. Great way to do it. I love it. Last but not least, number eight, my favorite one is Builder Trend, guys. Builder Trend is a construction management software where it's gonna help you manage your construction and remodel jobs. This is more for the uh, experienced investor if you're maybe running like multiple projects or actually for a contractor that has multiple projects and you're trying to keep all these like multiple moving parts organized. It's like running, rotating a few wheels at the same time and jiggling a ball. So get Builder Trend, it's about $299 a month I know it's kind of expensive but if you think about all the time you spend doing spreadsheets and data entry and making all these errors and chances of errors something like the software probably isn't that much if you really think about it and pretty much here you could put your jobs in here your remodels you can put your purchase orders uh, you can put your clients in here it also works as a CRM you can also do like Gantt charts and scheduling notifications to your colleagues etc so it's all this like wonderful all-in-one uh, building package mainly for construction but again, if you're running multiple rehabs and you got eight properties or 20 properties, 100 properties, your Excel spreadsheets and your QuickBooks is gonna have a limitation to that. So this can save you a lot of time and energy and money and all the inefficiencies that it can create. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite softwares that we love to use. Um, ha. If you really liked what you guys saw today, go ahead, hit that like button. Stick around every week. We're gonna come to you with 10 minute videos. Smash that like button. Hit that notification button and the bell. It's gonna really do us a favor with the whole algorithm YouTube to us to keep doing what we do for you. Okay, till next time, over and out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back to breaking news today on Channel 9. Here we go. Eight tools and digital, what the f Eight tools, eight tools, okay, digital tools, okay.